It's officially two oceans weekend. Liam! Two oceans yeah. weekend! We are happy that you're going to be taking part. But you also, you can't just walk away, your daughter's standing here as well. You both have to have your photos taken. So please. You can't cut the carrots, that's cool. You're going to go with the carrots. Weekend. We wish you well. We hope you're gonna have an app. You guys back Help here out, next yeah. year. Thank you. Thank you. It is the day before my Two Oceans Half Marathon and I've just completed my shakeout run. I did a lot of walking but did a very slow jog. I did a jog at like 8.30 I think. So I would basically walk most of the way and then when I felt like just moving for like I don't know 200 to 300 meters I did a little run um, and it's such a beautiful day so I did the Greenpoint Park run because I still wanted to get my park run in um, and also just be part of like community and just do my last walk run um, with like a whole bunch of people so just completed my shakeout run um, we are actually going to meet a whole bunch of my dad's friends who ran the ultra marathon which is 56 kilometers most of them are actually finishing in the next probably like two hours hour to two hours time um so we are going to meet them for lunch at a place called forester arms which is like one of my favorite restaurants in cape town it's in rondebosch slash newlands area so i really love going there and it's such a vibe after two oceans um, and then we are basically just going to get an early night tonight, make sure I pack all my stuff um, and then we are up early in the morning for the race. Um, it feels strange because like it's six months of training that I've done basically because I did two po programs basically back to back. Um, so I can't believe the day is coming but I'm excited, I'm nervous but I'm ready to get this thing done. Um, so I'll see you guys a little bit later when I start packing all my stuff. Um, and getting all my gear together. But yeah, last shake up run done. Yay!
Humble apologies, folks. I got my countries mixed up. This young lady is from Lesotho. Because you need to hand over a check. Sorry, Kate. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, folks. I, I just wanted to carry the check for a few seconds. Yeah.
We've just come outside to give you guys a little debrief from our run. Um, we haven't long gotten home because we had to do like a few things when we left. Also, it's always chaos after a run, right? Yeah, There's so many cars on the road. Like it's crazy actually. Um, Chocolate blockers. And so many runners actually as well. But I will start and say that was the hardest thing I think I've ever done. Um, but I'm also so chuffed with... Hey, don't laugh at me. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so chuffed with the time that I got. I ended with 2.26.40 something um, and my goal was to get between 2.15 and 2.30. Um, I mean I wanted to finish was my main goal but I also really wanted to do a sub 2.30 and I thought I was going to miss it in the end so I started racing like I started sprinting at the one point. When I could see the rugby fields I started sprinting down to um, finish because we actually finish at UCT which is really cool so I've been set, seeing them set up the fields for the past week but I'm so chuffed with the run like it is such a beautiful run just like running through areas especially when you get to Southern Cross um, it's quite a nice like, it's area. really beautiful there yeah and Southern Cross is <coughs> one of the longer harder um, roads yeah. that we have to run up on the train. But even that view from, I don't know what the road is, but you know, the first downhill. First, oh, from when you yeah, get to the M3. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Be. It's when you're running on the highway. Yeah. Like the view of the mountain is like there on your, on your right. I actually think cool. I took a video yeah. of when I got to the top of that road, so you guys would have seen it yeah. um, inserted before this. But I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. And we also started in the pitch black. It only started, the sun only started rising probably like only 20 minutes into my run or like, yeah, 20 minutes into my run and Liam started 24 minutes before me because he was in an earlier batch because um, he had done the disc game marathon in January but I obviously, or sorry, half marathon in January um, but I haven't done any races before this is my first race I've ever run I have run 21 before but on like a, it's kind of like a training run um, so I just got my first black like, race ticked off, which is really cool. But yeah, I've said how I feel. I'm curious to see what Liam thinks. Yeah, I mean, it's my second official half marathon, so I was quite, I was excited, and it's yeah, because nice you've done it. You did a few in Quest as well. Yeah, he but, actually but, Liam's run. What was the first you run in Quest? No, but regardless, this game was the first official marathon. Uh, half, half marathon race. Marathon. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so yeah, it, it was quite nice to do uh, Two Oceans Half for the first time and yeah. being down in Cape Town. And yeah, because you live here now as well. Seeing what it was like, because um, you hear all the stories, but like you don't, you can't quite uh, resonate with it if you haven't yeah, actually it, yeah. done it. Um, so yeah, I know. I think I felt good and up until 14k mark. My legs started to get tired, but I could still so the, push. At this point, you're at like Southern Cross, which is basically... No, just... Is it not well, just Well, as you... Oh, yeah, as you... As you're turning. Yeah. So you've just done like two big hills in a row, and now you're turning to go down, yeah. like basically a long, windy downhill. Do you have carry on? Yeah, I mean, I mean my... So I felt good, um, but legs started... I could feel it now on my legs, because I think yeah, I yeah. pushed... Up to that point, yeah. Yeah, but mainly... I was trying to take advantage of the downhills and then kind of take it steady um, going up the uphills, yeah. especially that Southern Cross, which is, it's a long uphill stretch. Mm, it's um, like a gradual long uphill, yeah. I'm happy with the time. So tell them the time that you did. So, so I did one hour, one hour 50 and, and I And what was, did you do at this game? Uh, this game was two hours something, I can't remember. Two hours 10 wasn't 10, it? Yeah, something so you like took that. off nearly 20 minutes of yeah. your time. That's incredible. Yeah. But I, I think, to be honest, the training for that, I didn't really do much training. Yeah. You just went off your quest. Quite consistent work. training. But but yeah, um, I was doing a program, a, a sub two program. So yeah, I'm quite. So the same program that I was doing under Coach Lindsay Parry. Yeah. Um, he, which he Such actually a great ran, program. I mean, ran as well. To anyone who's getting into running or is a runner um, they should really check them out and yeah. I think now you can see that I'm not biased towards him because Liam is saying the same yeah. thing yeah he's quite insightful and um, he really knows what he's talking about mm. um, yeah because he's a runner himself as yeah. well which is cool yeah 
But yeah, all in all, I would say that we both had a really successful morning. And it was actually so nice because, I mean, like I said, in the end, my dad wasn't able to run because he injured himself a couple of weeks ago. Um, so we got to kind of experience the morning together and, yeah. you know, navigate getting to the start. And yeah, and then like when Liam went off, then I started to wait 24 minutes and then I went off. But yeah, all in all, I would say it was a good morning and good run. And I mean, the what would you call it, like pre-match run, pre-match vibes. It was quite, quite cool. If, yeah, like all the music that yeah, they play. And, and just the energy and your nerves mixed with it as well. Yeah, so, it's very, very cool. Yeah. Can't remember what I was going to say, but we are both really exhausted now yeah. and we are going to go and have a shower very soon. And then we're going to the Runners of Market, which is one of my favorite places and also one of my mom's favorite places to go. And I know I've taken you guys there before. Yeah. Um, so we are probably just going to chill and eat lots of food for the rest of the day. Now it's just recovery time. Um, but yeah, I'm glad we could give you that little debrief and raw footage of how we're feeling post-run. But yeah, I'm so chuffed with how that went. Um, oh, let me actually go get our medals quickly and then I'll show you what they look like. So I just went to go get our medals. This is what they, it looks like. So it's really cool because it's actually the 25th anniversary of this run. Um, so really cool that of the half marathon, and yeah. I don't know how many did the ultra and the half marathon start at the same time. I don't know. Dad said I think the ultra might have been going for a couple of years yeah. before. Okay. Yeah. So that is the medal. And then what's cool is actually on the back if you wanted to, you could get your time and grade, but we didn't want to. So got both of our medals exactly the same um, I actually don't know what the difference is between the medals that you get these yeah, are the yeah. same yeah but I don't know if like, uh, what the different get, times yeah, yeah so you probably really get cool. silver if you come in a certain range yeah or, like top 10 as well with gold I think yeah. um, but yeah so tough that we got these now we have to put them some, somewhere special hopefully for me this is the first of many and hopefully, yeah. as well for you, it's just yeah, more, we're, many more to come. We're only be at the we're beginning. Only, we're only beginning. Yeah, we'll see where this journey takes us. Um, and yeah, we'll see how many more races I can vlog for you guys as well. But I am needing some food and a shower. So. so it has nearly been a week since we ran our very first Two Oceans Half Marathon. And I'm still buzzing. I'm still filled with so much excitement since the race. And I actually just can't believe that it's over. I have been wanting to do this race for a whole year now. When I first achieved my sub 60 10 kilometer, which was on the 16th of April last year, which is actually Two Oceans Day last year. Um, I set myself the goal that I really wanted to do the Two Oceans Half Marathon in 2024. And so I just still can't believe that I did it. Um, I really showed that putting in dedication and hard work and just kind of trusting the process that, yeah, you can do these things. And so I'm really, really happy with how the day went. It was such an amazing, beautiful day. I mean, the weather was incredible. It was sunny, but a little bit windy, which is perfect for running weather um, which was just amazing and I don't think supporters actually understand how much it means to us runners when you come out and you cheer for us and you play music and you just have a, a lot of fun it really means a lot to us and it it gave me the energy that I needed at certain stages of the race that um, I wouldn't have gotten out having supporters there. I am that person that will run every run with earphones in. I love my bone conducting earphones and I wear them on every park run, on every run. And we weren't allowed to wear uh, earphones for the run. So it kind of made me a little bit nervous think, knowing that I wasn't going to be able to run with earphones. But it was just so amazing to be able to soak up the atmosphere and just be fully present in the moment. Um, and I just can't believe I did it. Like I can't believe I ran 21.1 kilometers. And I must say, I've been feeling a little bit emotional this week, just thinking about like the fact that I've been wanting to do this for a year, that I've trained for this for six months, um, that it's my very first race over and done with, my first two oceans, half marathon like you'll never get these opportunities again and so I have been getting a little bit emotional thinking about it but then I have to bring myself back and say you know what you did it like 
it, you might not be able to experience your first half marathon ever again, but this is just the first of many races, hopefully, that I will be doing in the future. I've really started searching other races that I can do this year, um, let alone in like years to come. Yeah, I'm so glad that I could document this day and share it with you guys. I can't wait to look back at it in 10 years time. Hopefully, I'll be able to get my blue number in 10 years time. That means you, like you've done 10 races, so you get a permanent blue number, which is really cool. Um, so we'll see what happens in the near future and I can't wait to take you on more of my running adventures. This is just the beginning of everything and so I'm so glad I could take you along for this day. I will say that there were a few things that I learned about how I need to change my running plan for the future, um, specifically work looking at my gym plan so I really need to try and focus on strengthening my upper legs, my hamstrings, my quads, um, my glute muscles because I did find your house so stiff for like two three days after the race in those areas because of the heels that we ran so I really need to focus on strengthening those areas and then I actually was also feeling quite sore in my lower back so that's more working on my core muscles so I need to focus on my upper legs and my core muscles which is really important and another big thing that I learned is that I need to put some heels in my long runs because I tend to avoid any heels on my long runs because I just want to be able to get the mileage in where I need to actually practice doing heels on long runs when I'm out of breath when my legs are tired so that was another big thing that I learned but anyways that was where I'm going to leave this video I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did I tried to make sure that you could feel like you were really part of it so that you could try and experience the atmosphere and vibe the same that way that we did it was such an enthusiastic amazing day um, but if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up um, it, because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already, please will you hit the notification bell as well as subscribe to my channel and leave me a little comment. If you have any amazing races that you've done, South Africa, maybe the world, I'd love to hear about them. So please will you share those in the comment box. I love you all so much and I will see you at the same time next week. Bye!